All right, on um, eight through 11, these are your inequalities. We work them, remember, the same way, get rid of anything on the outside of the bars. Um, the only difference is how we write our answer and then we have to graph it, okay? So um, on number eight, we don't have anything on the outside of the bars. So we can go ahead and write it um, with the, the two different ways. So we're gonna have exactly what we have, the four X minus 36 is greater than or equal to 12. And then we're gonna have the opposite. So negative four X plus 36 is greater than or equal to 12. Now, I always tell my students when you have the bars by themselves, that's when you can tell whether it's an and or an or. So this is pointing away from the bars. So that means that you're going, they're gonna shade away from each other. So that makes this an or. Okay, so I already know, you know, that it's going to go something like this. It's going to, they're going to go away from each other. All right, so now I just need to um, solve each side. So we're going to subtract 36 here. So that gives me negative 4x, and then that's greater than or equal to negative 24. And then we're going to divide by negative 4. Now, remember, when you're dealing with inequalities, anytime you divide by negative, you have to flip your inequality sign. Okay? And when you're dealing with the inequalities, when you do this, um, you will be flipping one of them. So it's either going to be this one or that one, um, but you won't do it to both. Okay? So just make sure that you have flipped one of the inequalities when you've solved these. All right. On the other side, we're going to add... 36 so that gives us 48 so 4x is greater than or equal to 48 and then we divide by 4 so x is um, greater than or equal to 12 so to write our answer because we already said it was an or I'm just going to come up here and put the word or between them okay and this is how I write my solution and then to graph it we already Kind of looked at what the graph's going to look like. I'm going to have a closed circle at 6 and a closed circle at 12, and they're going to go away from each other. So I'm going to come down here. Here's a closed circle at 6 and a closed circle at 12, and they're going to go away from each other. Okay, they're closed circles because they, it has the bar underneath it. Okay, all right, let's look at number 9. Um, this has stuff on the outside of the bars that we need to get rid of. So we're going to need to get rid of that minus 3, the same way we did um, with these problems up here. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. So this gives me the absolute value of 2x plus 1, and that's less than 13. All right? This is when you decide whether it's an and or an or. Okay? It's pointing towards the bars, so that means your graphs are going to go towards each other like, like this. Okay, and so that means that it's an and. So I already know we're gonna have an and. So my graph's gonna look, well, it's actually gonna be open circles because it doesn't have the bar. So it'll be an open circle, it's gonna kinda look like this. Okay, so I have an idea already of what it's gonna look like. Look, you can't even see it, sorry. All right, so now we're just gonna write this twice. I've got my, what's inside the bars here. Oops. And then the opposite of that is going to be negative 2x minus 1. And then I just solve both of those. So we're going to add 1 to both sides. Negative 2x is less than 14. And then divide by negative 2. And again, we divided by negative, so you have to flip that inequality. Okay. And then over here, we're going to subtract 1. So 2x is less than 12, and then divide by 2. So x is less than 6. Now, some of you, yeah, you know it's an and. Some of you like to write your ands um, like this. Okay, I like for mine to write it compound, so that would be negative 7 less than x less than 6. Small number, big number, x in the middle, and then less than signs. Okay. So to graph it then, um, I know I'm going to have an open circle. I already have ha kind of drawn out what I'm going to graph. So this would be negative 7 and this would be positive 6. So negative 7 is right here. I'm going to do it underneath. Positive 6 is right here and they're going to be connected. 